Right about the spread of bird flu, the feds now reporting an increase of the virus in mice and <clears throat> cats. Bird flu has infected 90 dairy herds across 12 states since late March. Three dairy farms workers have also been infected. The current bird flu outbreak in the U.S. started two years ago. It's already forced the slaughter of almost 100 million chickens and turkeys. Here now, you know this guy by now, our Fox 11 medical contributor, Dr. Michael Danew. Thank you so much. You've been on this. We've been talking about bird flu mm -hmm. for some time now. One of the things that you pointed out was that the federal government has increased incentives mm -hmm. for farms to test and report which is key to right. helping stop the spread, what else should we be doing? Yeah, that's one of the key things, but I also think we need more testing and we need more viral mapping of the different types of variants like we do with COVID to see what's going on. This is a flu, vac a flu virus can very easily mutate and spread, especially when you see it going to different mammalian species now, and not only the, the birds, it's the cattle, it's the, the cats, it's the skunks, and so that's really concerning. And then just today, Michigan, which has the highest number of infected uh, herds, released a report that nine out of the 15 affected herds were closed herds. So how is that spreading if it's mm. not from the cattle, which to me, there might be a human component to this. Are the farm workers that move be between the herds spreading this? Mm. It's very concerning. And so I think one of the things we have to look at, look, what Finland's doing, which I mentioned last week, is to vaccinate the high risk farm workers. We already have H5N1 N1 vaccine stockpiled in this country specifically for this reason. Okay. We need to use it. We need to nip this in the bud before the virus gets used to transmitting between humans and becoming very good at it. That's but not what we want. We mentioned 12 states. California, though, doesn't. California does not, right no. Not okay, yet. okay. Well, we'll keep a watch there, but what we do have, and especially here locally, West Nile virus, mm -hmm. LA County recently, recently reported its first case of the season. This, of course, we're showing you why, what, what causes this, and that's mm -hmm. infected mosquitoes. How can we prevent this, and what's the treatment? Right, so this was a, a case in uh, San Fernando Valley, the first one of the season, and I expect that because of the rainy, wet season we just had, we're going to see a lot more of this. And so just some things to remember, only 20% of people that get bitten by a mosquito with West Nile virus actually have symptoms. There's no specific treatment. There's no vaccine. The treatment tends to be supportive, so IV fluid, hydration, uh, pain relief, anti-nausea medication. The elderly and those that are really young are most likely to develop severe symptoms and require hospitalization. The best thing that everybody can do is to go around their house, their property, empty out any kind of standing pools of water. So that's buckets, drains, gutters, planters, anything like that. If you have a pool that hasn't been maintained and you, have, you start seeing that green water, mm -hmm. you can actually count, call the county and they will come and treat that water for you. So it's really preventing the breeding grounds for these specific mosquitoes. Okay, so we started a segment with you called Ask the Doctor and we got a question from a viewer who reached out to you specifically on mm -hmm. Instagram and she asked this. We appreciate you, by the way. She says, does postpartum anxiety ever go away? I'm currently at one year. What's your answer to her? So she's referring to postpartum depression, which actually affects um, up to one in seven, and that's that's a big number. And so we haven't really had a lot of great therapy for this. Usually, it's psychological therapy, psychotherapy for mild cases. But for those for those women that suffer symptoms of depression for weeks, maybe even months on end, there is Duranolone, which we actually covered in the fall. It's the first oral medication to be approved by the FDA and it's a pill you take twice a day for two weeks and that's it. It starts working after a few days. The only the only problem right now is that even though the FDA approved it, the cost is around sixteen thousand dollars. Whoa, that's a huge problem. Hugely cost prohibitive. So I looked up on GoodRx which has a lot of great information. So if you're uh, if you've just delivered and you're suffering from depression, talk to your doctor. GoodRx has some good information. Medicaid on a state-by-state -state basis can go for it, but only 17 out of 1,000 insurance plans actually have guidelines for this. So my, yeah, it's, it's incredible. The best thing is to, if you go to the website for the manufacturer for Zuranolone, they have a spe specific program called Zuranolone for you, and you can get on the program, which might reduce your cost down to zero. So that is okay. the best bet for those that are interested in this. Okay. Um, well, we, we hope that she gets some help because, mm -hmm. you know, I feel for her and what she's going through. If you want your question answered by Dr. Daniel, you can send an email to askthedoctor at fox.com. Include, of course, your name and city, and we'll ask your question here on the air, and Dr. Daniel will answer it here on the air. We thank you as always. Thank you very much. Okay.